Greetings, golden-winged nation of our heavenly legion of light. With these immense energies flooding Pachamama, she received a massive activation and release with a magnitude 6.5 earthquake in the root chakra of Mother Earth, just east of South Sandwich Islands at 303 UTC, code of 33 of Divine Mastery. Gaia, along with all her children of the sun, are stepping into mastery of the ascension process as we alchemize the five elements into the threefold flame of transformation in the sacred heart chamber, activating the holy grail lines of our royal lineage of the new Lemuria. All priests and priestesses of the gold flame of Christ consciousness are coming into form to bring with us the Heros Gamos of Unity Consciousness. We are all united as one through the holographic quantum field of electromagnetism, which is the diamond net of Indra, the web of life. As we walk our path with heart being connected to all things, we harmonize the frequencies of the music of the spheres and bridge the worlds of heaven and earth for the great shift of the ages to the new golden age of eternal life. We do not give up nor do we back down from our missions of being the guides and way showers of the new heaven upon the new earth. With our divine will and pure intent for the highest good of all involved, we co-create the paradise the divine mother has always evolved to be. We are done with the fake programs, false narratives, and projections of delusions. We rise through the waters of eternal life and bloom in the heavenly delight of our new Edenic timeline. Our breakthrough and freedom is inevitable. It is our inalienable birthright, for all beings are born perfectly awakened Buddhas. But through time this pure awareness was converted to the three hells of suffering, the frightened animal, the angry demon, and the hungry ghost. We have all played each role well, and now through our pain and suffering realize these lessons have been learned, and we no longer need them, and we let them all go. This is the final release and surrender to our true nature of cosmic consciousness as we make our full quantum leap of consciousness into the new human of Homo Luminous, beings of infinite light. Embody and integrate into our avatars the highest codes of our 12-strand crystalline DNA blueprints of the 144. Aho! Welcome, beloved beings of light. I am Paul White Gold Eagle with PrimeDisclosure.com. We have many powerful transmissions again for you today from our sacred new earth scribes, so be sure to stick around to the very end and please do us a favor and share this video with your teams and tribes all over this realm. And now we continue with the Sabian symbols. Right now the moon is at zero degree, two minutes Sagittarius. The moon just moved into this powerful sign of Sag and the sun is at seven degrees Libra. The current Sabian symbol for the sun at 8 degrees Libra, a blazing fireplace in a deserted home. And the current Sabian symbol for the moon at 1 degree Sagittarius. Retired army veterans gather to reawaken old memories from astrologyweekly.com. And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Valerie A. Elster. We've entered into the next Bakhtun of the Mayan calendar as the wheel turns into new states of awareness. Death, Rebirth, 12D. And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Jennifer Katran, Arcturian energy assisting in this shift, root chakra clearing for many. And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Ali Ray, the stronger you become, the gentler you will be. No force, only flow. Surrender the struggle. Allow yourself to soften into true strength. Love is, love is, love is. God is, God is, God is. And from Divine Brothor of the Light, Roberto Nunez. There it comes. 
The matrix fails as higher frequencies rise. Vivid dreams come up, connect to the crystal core of Gaia to stabilize and avoid anxiety. Protect your aura as the archons like to counter when frequencies rise. Don't allow it. Keep your vibe high. And from Divine Sis Star of the Light, Divine Feminine 7777. Starting to function in a new way in this challenging time and energy that is present right now can be felt. In the collective can be difficult, uncomfortable, and it takes a lot of trial and error, but it will pay off as you start to feel so much better when you do what feels good to you and for you, and not what others say or expect you to do. Change yourself and you will help change the world. Make yourself happy and you will help to make this world a better place. Do what is uncomfortable at first if that will make you happy long term. And from Divine Sis Star of the Light, Celia Fenn, Living in the new energy. Yesterday was a water kind of day with the sparkling sapphire ocean playing in 6D. Today it was the element of air with the clouds putting on a display of sylph like elegance and beauty that reminded me of angels' wings. Of course, I live within a powerful natural vortex, but the bay itself and mountain area where my house is situated. Nature is felt intensely as the elementals and animals flirt with the energies. This morning I tried to work, but the baboons were in playful mode, running around the house and jumping on the roof. It was very difficult to concentrate. Nature in its pure form can be loud, noisy, playful, and chaotic, and beautiful. As we take our first steps in this new consciousness, we are being made aware that we are one with nature, and that our interactions with nature are a deep reflection of ourselves, both as individuals and as a collective. In the coming months, we will be learning how to balance out with this new energy. I personally find that I struggle quite a bit. When I wake up, I find it hard to ground myself into my body, which feels heavy and painful. And then during the day, I feel the alpha theta brain waves as a need to sleep because my body recognizes alpha to theta brain states as deep meditation to sleep states. I think it will take a while to be able to be in a waking, walking theta state. It is magical, and it also feels like a waking dream at some moments. The angels and the whales and dolphins are here to assist us. The dolphins and whales are especially good at dealing with expanded consciousness and higher frequency brain waves. As we move towards the Scorpio Gate 1111 and the eclipse season in October and November, we can draw on their assistance and guidance in our new reality. From CeliaFen.com And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Linda Lee Dear family of love and light, the divine has a quick message. The divine says that as of today, at this moment, the old earth systems have been shut down. The old energies have been removed from the current planetary systems, and that made sure that the new earth only has the designated energies and correct systems. The old miscreation and the old energies were removed because per divine plan their due time has arrived and they have caused huge damage and chaos to Gaia's ascension and Gaia's plan. That is why the divine has removed or transmuted the unnecessary old miscreation and energies. All has been taken care of. All is well. Since the old systems have been shut down per divine's plan, the new earth systems need to replace the old systems and start to function. The divine has started the new earth systems per Gaia's design, and the new earth systems will be in the physical realm soon. The divine asks light workers to keep up the good work and continue to bring the new earth systems and the divine government on new earth. It is time. Thank you for your hard work, dear ones. Please know that the old has completely gone. All the old systems have been effectively shut down. The new earth systems are up and running, and all is well. Divine blessings to you, Linda Lee, the Divine, and the Company of Heaven. So it is. And from Divine Bro Thor of the Light, Pars Kute, The strongest shift is upon us right now in this moment. So get ready. Get ready for the great changeover that is strongly developing now. 
within the background but coming forward more and more now into the divine light. We choose to let go and trust the waves that come into our lives and we embrace the change. The divine source light will increase itself to place focus on what is being removed and the divine light is quickening in its movement. Time is quickening because of the divine light. We have shifted so much already. Within divine love of one, pars kute. From divine sistar of the light, Devyani Singh of Isis channelings, the renewal of Adi Shakti and the chain breakers. This new moon, September 26th, initiated the convergence of two powerful goddess cycles. One is known as Navratri, Nine Nights of the Goddess, September 26th through October 5th, which is essentially the reawakening of the Adi Shakti, Kundalini, feminine energy as she renews and awakens in the root chakra and travels upwards along the chakras, covering all the chakras during the nine days to ultimately converge union with the Shiva, Divine Masculine. These nine days and nights carry the energy of purification along some central theme for the reemergence of the Divine Feminine, Shakti, Kundalini, Serpent, Dragon like the Mother Wound or the Witch Wound. Before I dive into what has been shown to me as the central theme this year of 2022, let's briefly visit the second goddess cycle running concurrently at this time, Inanna, Venus cycle. Venus Inanna was conjunct with the moon on September 25th, not visible, at the last gate of her shamanic descent into the underworld. In other words, the foundation of this new moon was the gate of actual entry into the court of Ereshkigal, dark goddess of the underworld, the final destination of Inanna's descent journey of death and rebirth. According to the ancient Sumerian myth, Ereshkigal kills Inanna when she enters her court. From the spiritual point of view, Ereshkigal represents Inanna's shadow aspect, and it is only when Ereshkigal's own pain, grief, and suffering is witnessed and acknowledged does she agree to revive, gift a new lease of life to Inanna. This is exactly where we are right now. Inanna's, Queen of Heaven, decision to travel to the underworld was an act of supreme courage, as she knew fully well the fate that awaited her, meeting our shadow, wounded, abandoned, cast off aspects is an act of courage. It's a deep dive into the depths of fear, anger, grief, unworthiness, guilt, the full spectrum, the very aspects that are needed to be witnessed, acknowledged, and honored for Ereshkigal. This is the union of Inanna and Ereshkigal into the wholeness for post this union Inanna is reborn. Venus Sun Conjunction, October, and begins her ascent to acquire the title of Queen of Heaven and Earth. Since Venus Inanna is in the underworld in the Capricorn Metagoddess cycle, the shadow aspects that are coming up for the purification in this Adi Shakti renewal energies of the Navratri period are the wounds, traumas, karmic debts of our ancestral bloodline, specifically the wise woman council. As I sat down to meditate on the first night of Navratri, I was made aware of seven generations of my ancestral bloodlines had also joined in the Akashic realms the elder women of my lineage, but they had been denied their role as the wise women, and then it hit me, a tidal wave of grief, anger, disappointment, resentment, rage, bitterness, and countless other emotions these elders had suffered as their existence, role, offerings, and essence was willfully negated, unseen, unheard, disrespected by patriarchal trauma, which continues to run through the bloodlines and womb and breast distortions and disease. How in order to survive, women had to become flag bearers of the very patriarchy that threatened to crush them, and thus women turned against women, abandoned their daughters, maidens, mother wound, and degraded the divine yoni portal, wounds of the sacred prostitute till these patterns and distortions are released via the chain breakers, us, 
Just like Eresh Kagal, the pain and trauma of the ancestors needed to be witnessed and acknowledged. And then they showed me how to heal the traumas of the bloodlines past and future, so that the legacy of distortions is released for past, present, and future timeline. Notice also what is taking place in Iran currently. If you know yourself to be a chain breaker, the convergence of these two powerful goddess cycles provides much more support to once again reinstate the wise woman council to their rightful place. The backbone foundation of all ancient societies was laid by the wise woman wisdom, for they were the portals of bringing through ancient wisdom and also had the foresight as to how this wisdom should be tweaked to support future generations. The blueprint of the new golden age lies within the wise woman council we hold in our DNA and blood. Until that is not healed and brought forth, the cycles will continue to be repeated. Chain breakers. In the past weeks have tested your courage to the limit. Now is the time, the reawakening of the Adi Shakti. Kundalini serpent energies are bringing new insights and guidance for you. The power is within you. And light and grace and joy be the change you want to see. Sake na. From isischannelings.wordpress.com It is time, divine goddesses of the light. Our sacred wise women, our sacred wise crones, our elders, our maidens, our priestesses of the light. It is time to rise up and take your rightful roles and places on this world stage as healers, saviors, Christos, Sophias, and sacred condors. As the north and the south merge with the east and the west and the sacred heart center, and the sacred eagles of the north protect you from above and below and from all sides. And divine masculine warriors of the light, it is time to protect the wise women and the sacred crystal children with all your might, with the power of the almighty I am presence. We all rise together and take back this kingdom of God upon the earth. Okay, now let's get back to it. From Divine Sistar of the Light, Erini, from Crystal and Indigo Guide to the Galaxy, Athens, September 29th, 2022. Key Information Hearing returns to the masculine, both for men and women. We are collectively processing the masculine energy within us. Wherever the masculine presence has been out of balance, hurt, attacked, conditioned, distorted, lost, afraid, in sorrow, guilt, anger, or pain within. It will become increasingly felt by the body during the coming weeks and months. It already has been kicking in, but from now on, we will be experiencing the last phase of the physical revelation, recalibration, healing, awakening, alignment, and repositioning for him, as the masculine presence is returning in his healthy state on earth. He was called by Mother Earth to do so, so she gave the green light. We are called to attend to our own inner masculine presence and history and embody his self-revelation, purification, healing, acceptance, and loving rebirth and empowerment. He has been in turmoil, illusion, misguidance, and suffering for so long experiencing trauma and distorted power on so many levels, and for some time, he has been moving slowly back to himself. But now the pace has been accelerated and it will reach full completion. Key information, the ears of the masculine have been blocked, and this has affected his throat, his expression, and his connection to his inner truth, charisma, identity, and spirit. The ears are directly connected to the ability of speaking and in extend to our ability of understanding and communicating our authentic thoughts and emotions to ourselves and others. If you closely observe the energy field in many men, you will notice that at some point they unconsciously decided to block, deny, lower or place filters in their hearing ability. 
They did not want to hear everything that was going on because it was making things more difficult for them. This was towards both the inner voice and the outer voices. This blocking affected all the rest of his connected abilities and also his heart chakra and quality of being in love and acceptance of himself and others. In this way he learned and got used to living away from his true core. While mostly functioning via the limited programmed mind, all the above took place gradually throughout history, via programming of training how to take orders without questioning them, via his defense and survival mechanism. In the absence of healing tools, self-knowing, spiritual awareness, and self-responsibility, and in the presence of great collective cultivated guilt and shame, distorted goals and demands in life-or-death circumstances, in many cases he had to absolutely continue with his value duties, family, military, social, religious, etc., and blocking his hearing was the one of the ways for him to achieve it. I will not go into details, but the reasons why he decided to block, deny, lower, or place filters in his hearing ability were many and of a great importance for him. As the healthy masculine is now returning in us all, the heirs will be unblocking, bringing energy and information again to all those parts that were negatively affected. We will gain knowledge and communication with many inner parts of the self that we could not access before. Coming in contact to those previously blocked parts of the self could create inner crisis because many of these parts are carrying quite heavy memories. In the face of this awakening, we might also witness the male energy in parts of the population acting out with anger, craziness, and violence, but this is definitely not necessary. No matter how heavy, pressuring, scary, or challenging a part of the self might feel like, there are always tools one can use to bring the healing through in the most harmonious ways. And these tools are always found within the frame of self-responsibility and the self-healing process. Asking for guidance and support is a step that the masculine presence in both men and women is called to start embracing as something natural, accepted, healthy, and honoring. We are here to share and support each other in all good ways. No one holds all the answers, and we all have our blind spots that many times need external information in order to be unlocked and recognized by us. All people have been called to start caring, focusing and really understanding what is taking place in the world because it is very different than what is being presented by the media. This is a revelation and a knowing that comes from honest and loving inner work. From truly awakening all aspects of oneself, please give loving attention to all the inner messages, signs, reactions and symptoms that the body might be bringing up. Without rushing to offer an external explanation, but by feeling the inner state, remember that conscious breathing and grounding is the foundation of all healing. The masculine's ability of hearing, thus also ability of talking, expressing and living from the core of his heart, will eventually be healthily restored in all blessings of self-revelation, acceptance, and balance. Eri ni. And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Aurora Ray, the alchemy of ascension. Ascension can be a difficult thing to describe because it's not a destination or goal. It's not about getting somewhere else. It's about being here now, at this moment, with all of your senses engaged and open to new possibilities. Ascension is being in the moment and doing what you love. It's being present. It's being present in your life. It's focusing on the now, not the future or past. It's about letting go of the past and future so you can be free to follow your heart wherever it leads you. It's about living in the now and fully experiencing everything around you because when you do this, we find that the boundaries between us and everything else dissolve away like fog on a sunny day. Life is the pursuit of ascension, and the secret to success lies in knowing what you want and why you want it. This will ensure that you stay on track and consistently work towards your goals each and every day. Ascension is learning how to listen to your intuition, take responsibility for your actions, and accept responsibility for our actions. 
is being brave enough to do what feels right, even if it feels scary. Because courage is not the absence of fear. Courage is taking action anyway. The more you can do what you love, the better your life will be. When we are doing what we love, our lives are filled with joy and happiness. When we are not doing what we love, our lives are filled with anxiety and stress. It's so simple. If we want to change our lives for the better, then we must first change our focus on what we don't like to what we do like. Ascension is about being in the right place at the right time with the right energy, where everything aligns to help you grow and succeed. It's forgiving yourself and others for mistakes. It's forgiving your past self for having made a mistake that you now know better than to make. It's taking the actions necessary to correct a blunder, and it's allowing the past to go so that you can learn from it without letting it keep you from moving on to bigger and better things. Your past is a memory. Your future is an imagination. Only your present is here now. Don't let the past or future distract you from the present. The past is gone and the future hasn't happened yet. The only thing that's real is this moment. So live in it and be in it. Don't try to control your thoughts because they will never be completely still and quiet, but rather be open to whatever arises. Live your life as if you already are living in the fifth dimension. Be grateful for every breath you take, for every thought that enters your mind, for every word you speak. Every moment of your life is a gift. Take advantage of it. Be grateful for every moment you have been given to be alive on this planet at this time. So thank God, Goddess, for all that he, she has done for you so far in your life, including now. Be grateful for all the people who have made such a positive impact on your life, whether they are still living or not, those who have touched your heart, those who have taught you something new about yourself, or others who have changed your perspective forever. The best way to be aware of what's happening in your life is through meditation. Sit quietly with your eyes closed and focus on your breathing for a few minutes each day. This exercise can help you relax and become more aware of your thoughts and feelings, which you can use as an opportunity to reflect on how you want to live your life and how you want others to see you. When you let go of the past and future self completely, this is when things start getting interesting. You stop being a slave to your mind's thoughts and beliefs. Instead, you become more like an observer. You become aware of how your thoughts create your reality and how you can change it at any moment by simply choosing not to believe what your mind tells you. You become more powerful than ever before because now there is no realm in which to hide from yourself. You are free to choose what happens next in life rather than being controlled by your mind's thoughts about what will happen next in life. The fifth dimension is the place where you can be fully conscious of your true nature. It's a place where you don't need to worry about what's going to happen tomorrow or how you're going to pay the rent next month. This is the ultimate freedom and the ultimate peace. It sounds utopian, but it's already here. You just have to know how to get there. You are here on this planet at this time for a purpose. You are here to increase your frequency and vibration. I hope that you will use this opportunity to increase your joy, to embrace this precious time that we have together on planet Earth. You have come up with so many unique ways to express your soul's intentions of creating joy and passion in the world. You are truly one of a kind, and there will never be another you anywhere in the universe. Your life is an inspiration to the rest of us. Continue to stand strong in love and faith, even through difficult times. Your light is needed now more than ever. We love you dearly. We are here with you. We are your family of light. We are the Galactic Federation. Aho, Aurora Ray, Ambassador of the Galactic Federation, from the thegalacticfederation.com. And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Karen Lithica. Universal Light Codes Stargazing Amongst the light codes provided by the sun, our role now is to embrace the night sky, the light codes of the stars and planets. To realize much knowledge will unfold, for your eyes and consciousness will be entertained with planetary knowledge, ancient history, new contacts, as you embrace the light language of the stars. See the opportunity to embrace the higher wisdom of the universe. 
for the night sky will enable you to consciously connect to our ships, so please try, for our knowledge is expanded in the night sky. Simply open your heart and awareness to connecting to us. A wonderful experience. I was told to go outside and embrace the universe. Go out to the night sky. I was guided to connect to my higher self and my pineal and felt a rush of energy out through my crown. And in that instant, I was connected to the universe. I opened my heart chakra, expanded my awareness, and in that moment I saw a light a ship moving across the night sky. A moment of deep connection and wisdom was granted to me. I offer you this insight and the invitation from our galactic friends to embrace the night sky, for you will receive much information and guidance. With Love Light Family, Cosmic Family, the Arcturians, and Karen from KarenLithica.com. And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Carolyn 144, God Code. Positivity, balance, and peace can be fulfilled as the hard work is done. All of your efforts to release control to God are paying off. Unworthiness had to be eliminated so you can get grounded in your truth and let only the people that love and value you in your life. This brings positive, healthy communication and soul expansion. God has been preparing you for what is ahead, union. Now the Divine Masculine can make an offer to the Feminine. It's taken a lot of strength, healing, triggers, and detoxing to unravel what separated them. Keep focusing on your light, healing, and self-respect. Rest knowing that this manifestation is birthing exactly what you have been attaining. In Jesus Christos' name, Amen. God bless you, Carolyn Kundalini Twin Flames. And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Leah Whitehorse. Venus enters Libra. Ceres enters Virgo. The movement of these two goddesses into new signs signals a shift in the way we express our love and affection. If you have a partner, these transits are perfect for spending quality time together. A cultural afternoon at an art gallery, a romantic meal, a movie. These Venusian pleasures bring harmony. If there has been conflict, tact, diplomacy, and negotiation go a long way towards smoothing relations. Take yourself on a date if you are single. Buy yourself flowers, open your heart, send out love, and the universe will respond in kind. The movement of Ceres into Virgo also reminds us to nourish the body too. Savor organic fruits and vegetables, plant herbs on your windowsill, bake bread in honor of this grain goddess, Eating healthily, with occasional indulgence, is an expression of loving care for the temple of your soul. Nurture yourself by getting organized. Prioritize your well-being. From LeahWhitehorse.com And today from the Zolkeen Times, Keen 134, White Self-Existing Wizard. Self-existing is the name for the number four and its keywords are define, measure, and form. The fourth day of a wave spell is all about taking a closer look at things. This is the fourth day of the monkey wave spell, and we are still in the squishy bit in between the two portal day columns. Many people experience headaches during this time due to the intensity. There are 13 columns in the Zolkeen, and the seventh one is quite turbulent because it lies between all of these portal days. Each column contains 20 days, and this squishy column contains the last 10 days of the Mirror of Truth wave spell and the first 10 days of the Monkey wave spell. The Monkey wave spell gets easier when we reach the top of the next column on Red Spectral Dragon. Today is White Wizard, and it represents enchantment, receptivity, and timelessness. Wizard days are full of enchantment and invitations for trips down the rabbit hole. You can cast your own spells today and you can be put under a spell too. As it is a self-existing day, the wizard asks that we look closer at our situation. Are you under a spell and haven't realized this? The wizard, when consulting his book of spells, is sure to be reading all the details and checking that every potion has the right ingredients in the right portions. This symbolizes that we must be sure of what we are getting into when dealing with spells and magic. A good alchemist doesn't overlook important details, and neither should we today. 
If you wish to enchant the day, do your homework first. And from Divine Sistar of the Light Christina Papa Giorgio, White Self Existing Wizard, 4 Ish, Keen 134, 29th of September 2022, Manifesting Your True Heart's Desires. 29 9 2022 equal 11 9 6 equal 2 15 equal 2 6 equal 8 day codes 29 spiritual tests trials 11 portal gate polarity illumination 2 partner twin cooperation 8 infinite abundant source flow month year codes 9 completion service destiny divine humanity grace 15. Spiritual Alchemy, Charisma, Magnetism. 6. Heaven, Christ, Family, Harmony, Fertility. 20. The Awakening, Clear Vision. 22. Architect of Peace, Master Builder. Keen 134 equal 8. Abundance, Infinity, Flow, and 8 day total equal 8 8 Abundance Gate. A powerful day for magical heart alchemy creating form. Day 4 in the Blue Monkey Wave Spell of Magic, Joy, Bliss, Play, Merriment, Spontaneity, and a Return to Innocence. Magic, Magic, Magic. A day of great magic and enchantment. Today we define the magic. The wizard's magic is defined by the capacity to have a still receptive mind guided by the heart. To think from our hearts using the power of love to guide our wands. Tone of creation, self-existing, tone four in the mental realm. Action measures, power defines, essence form. Self-existing number four takes form, and we have ourselves a square shape. Self-existing, measuring and defining, very intelligent, fascinated by self. We now have built a sturdy platform upon which further growth takes place. Today we are using our minds to anchor our magic. Defining how we can access and manifest using our God-given powers. Dispense with the rest and build your new solid foundations on the basis of divine alchemy and magical manifestations through your pure heart to create a foundation of peace and harmony. The wizard, the monkey, the eight source code, and the self-existing tone of creation are the quadrilla for the manifesting of your thoughts, ideas, and desires into form, the divine formula. Nikola Tesla had the self-existing tone in his signature as for Akbal, so this is potent creation magic we have at our disposal today, magnified manifesting power. Take your spell casting very seriously today. This is a gift from our Creator to manifest our true heart's desires. Today's question is how can I use the magic of my heart to create new forms based on love, compassion, and my true heart's desires? Divine blessings for the manifestation of your pure heart's desires. In la catch a la keen, Christina White Magnetic World Bridger, Keen 66. Keen 134, White Self Existing Wizard. The mantra, the code for today is. I define in order to enchant, measuring receptivity, I seal the output of timelessness. With the self-existing tone of form, I am guided by the power of heart. And on this powerful day of activations, transformations, and manifestations, let us know, beloved beings of light, in the comments below what you're feeling, what you're seeing, your dreams, your visions, and your synchronicities. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and click the subscribe button below and the little bell to get notifications on future updates. And as always, we have a link in the description below to the transcriptions of today's transmissions, and we archive these on our website, primedisclosure.com. Now I'd like to take the time to thank everyone for supporting us in our work and mission. It's because of your monthly pledges and donations we're able to continue this work. So I'd like to welcome and thank Divine Angel of the Light Deer for your pledge and support on Patreon, and welcome to the tribe of the Eagle and the Condor. And I'd like to also thank Divine Angel of the Light Ruby Dragon Rider for raising your pledge on Patreon today. We thank you very much, Divine Angel, for your continued support. 
If you'd like to support our work and mission and help us continue bringing these daily transmissions to the world, you can make a monthly pledge to our Patreon page at whitegoldeagle.com. I'd like to also thank Divine Angel of the Light from Fresh here for you, for your donation today. Thank you very much for your support. We appreciate you very much. If you'd like to support us with a one-time donation, you could do so to our PayPal account at eaglelovecondor.com. I'd like to also welcome and thank Divine Sistar of the Light Kara for joining us on our YouTube membership and welcome to the tribe. We appreciate you very much in your support. I'd like to also thank everyone supporting my Sacred Condor's artwork on Etsy. You could purchase her beautiful handmade goddess totems, zodiac goddesses, healing jewelry, and other works of art at lunagoddessart.com. Now we're going to complete today's transmissions with powerful codes from Insights from the Cosmic Astral, number 1714-1714. Spiritual forces grant miracles. Consciousness is warmed and clean. The divine self-creation occurs in the resonances of light. God is smiling. Souls on the way of awakening are confronted with surface challenges. God knows what he does. Magnetic fields and corporators establish the anchors of heaven on earth. Abundant programs are activated. God is God. Destabilizing of all control systems is happening at 79% non-regressive at this moment. Immediate replacement is. Rotation of light bearers is. Attention earthlings, the absence of weight is in your true essence. Active and passive forces balance the physical expression and the non-physical expression that you are. God is love. Humanities are starting to interact on a subtle level with the powerful quantum mechanism at this momentum. Relationships just keep being adjusted. Energy flows more smoother in all and through everyone. God is. True mastery is achieved. The matrix collapses. The measure that your love made to the new earth emerges. The kingdom of peace is irreversible above and below. Accelerated vibrations kick off. Your movement is the portal. Thank you for joining us today, beloved beings of light. Have a most beautiful and blessed Friday, the last day of this intense, crazy, and powerful month of September as we navigate into the powers and grace and bliss of this red October of transfiguration and transformation. Keep walking gently your sacred path with heart with peace and love in every step, and keep shining your light brightly into the night. Be sure to make this day and every day the best day ever. The eagle and the condor love you all. Namaste.